According to the ESCC annual report for the year 2022-2023, the commission was able to trace 6.63 billion in illegally acquired and unexplained assets, out of which 3.8 billion was successfully recovered, increasing the value of the cumulative value of what ESCC has managed to recover from 3.6 billion recovered in 2018 to 28 billion by 2023. ESCC says financial constraints is one of their major challenges against corruption and that legislation should be put in place to allow them to use part of what they recover to bridge their funding deficit. We are proposing that either a percentage of that which has been recovered uh, or an amount that would help us uh, to meet our actual uh, expenditure budget. The commission says it is operating at 50% of its staff capacity, which has been a major challenge owing to the number of cases it handles, with at least 5,252 reports received by the commission for investigation between July 2022 and June 2023. Further, the Commission is calling on Parliament to seal the legal gaps that have been making the fight against corruption hard for the body. This is in addition to complementing Chapter 6 of the Constitution on Leadership and Integrity by barring persons being investigated on corruption grounds from holding public office until declared innocent by the courts. They can deny you access uh, to certain documents to uh, interview particular individuals. Intimidation. Uh, Intimidation is another one. According to ESCC, it's difficult to investigate and prosecute leaders in office owing to the accused person's ability to interfere with the cases, hence resulting to going after those who have left office and are accused of corruption, dismissing any claims of political witch hunts. Cases from ESCC are watertight. Cases from ESCC, they undergo a process. We don't just wake up and say, this case we have investigated, take it to the CEO to sign. David Kagina, Q24, Nairobi.